they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> so um I my uh I just have three points. Um but with each three points you go through a phase. Um and the first point that I have is forgiveness. Um when you go through marriage, you know, you go through trials, you go through tribulations, you suffer together. So whatever it is that you face, you face together. You face it head on. You don't face individually. So when you go through things in life as a couple, as a married couple, you have to find forgiveness in one another. Not just in one another, but in yourself. And in being married, I had to, and I know my husband doesn't mind me sharing, I had to remember and I was reminded of a time when Apostle had preached the word and he said forgiveness isn't for them, it's for you. And that carries on into your marriage because you'll be faced with things, you'll be faced with trials, you'll be faced with tribulations. You know, temptation comes whether you're married, whether you're not married. And that goes for the man and the woman. It's not just the man that's tempted. The woman can be tempted too because, you know, we have social media, we have technology. So we see these things on social media where the man is, you know, glamorous for, for the woman. It's the opposite of what we think we should have sometimes or they show things that we'll be tempted with or or um yeah that we'll be tempted with it'll be something to where you know okay well I see this couple doing good because even in marriages there there will be times where you're tempted with wanting to go back to who you were or who you used to be because we evolve you know so we'll look back on the things that we've gone through in life and We've evolved. We're not the same person. And in not being the same person, you have to remember to forgive. Yeah. Not for just the sake of your marriage, but for the sake of yourself. For the sake of being able to evolve and being able to, you know, move forward and progress forward. So the forgiveness is not for the spouse, the forgiveness is for you. Because like Evangelist Misha said, you'll go back, and women are good for it, but men can do it too. They just have a way of, of doing it subtly. Women, we'll just bring it to the forefront. <laughs> we will, we'll just bring it to the forefront. You say the wrong thing, and it'll remind me of what we argued about three years ago, and I'm gonna bring it right back up because I feel like I didn't get my issue resolved. And in those moments, you have to say, you know what? I move past that. You're not in the same place. He's not the same person. So I can't hold him at Isaiah when we first got married. Because he's not the same Isaiah when we first got married. He's a different Isaiah now. He's grown. He's matured. And I can't say, oh, I'm the only one grown and maturing in the relationship. You know, we like to view ourselves in marriage and we forget that it's not just about us. So... We're quick to say, oh, well, I've done this, I've done that. What have you done? No, it's not about what I have done. It's a selfishness. You can be selfish in marriage, too, especially if you haven't healed and if you haven't properly forgiven. So with forgiveness comes healing. With forgiveness comes the moments where you got to bring yourself down and say, I apologize and really mean it. Don't apologize and bring it back up. Yeah. Because we're good for that too. And I can talk from the female aspect because I've been there where I've seen I apologize or I've seen I forgiven you and I'm still mad about it. I'm still thinking on it. And it's not just a forgiveness where, oh, I'm just saying it. No, you have to really forgive. You have to really dissect. You have to not just look at the wrong that you may have felt that he did, but you have to look at the wrong that you may have pushed him into that situation. Because we as women, we're all, oftentimes, we'll push our man to the point where he feels like, you know what, you're pushing me away. Or you know what, I don't want to do this. Or you know what, you pushed me too far, so now that you pushed me too far, I'm going to react and say something that I really didn't want to say and I was trying to hold myself from, 
but because we're women, we know how to push that right button that'll tick him off, and he'll wow. say this thing that you really don't want to hear. My God. And then you sit somewhere hurt and broken, Bro. sobbing, feelings hurt. But you didn't realize that you pushed him to that because one, you were being selfish, and two, you didn't really forgive him. My second point is communication. Communication. You know, Apostle says it all the time, my grandma says it all the time, um, and I had to go back and read it, but in the word, it says that a soft answer turneth away wrath. Okay. And, you know, with being an independent woman, you know, a lot of times we carry things into our marriage and we don't realize it, especially if we don't fully prepare. And I'm glad we got the chance to go last because everything that everybody talked about is literally 